Hello guys, welcome to the Trading Room and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys something very very beautiful, okay? Um, I'll be showing you how to model rod ions, rod ions on your fence. Those ions you normally see on fences, okay? Those are normally see on fence, those design and decorative ones. So we'll be doing one, okay? We'll be doing that same thing on this particular fence, alright? So let's dive in without wasting much of your time. So the first thing you need to click on is, click on your south elevation. That's, it actually depends on the view where your fence is, is, is facing, okay? For this one, the side elevation. So I'll click on south elevation. Then let's measure the height from here to this tip, okay? Click pick line on that document, pick line, and then click on this line, on this level, okay, because we want it to go inside a little. Then I'll hold down my shift key, and then move this one all the way to this side. The measurement is 1,232, so we'll just go with 1,200, okay? So, let's move to the next step. The next step is click on um option okay because we'll be using complex profile so once you click on option you, you move your cursor to this complex profile then you click on profile manager all right so now click on this plus button to create new one let's change this to rod okay rod iron rod iron okay okay let's do it like this rod iron then you click ok all right remember the distance or the height is 1200 so we'll click on this iron um, on this line rather then select rectangular okay click and select rectangular then we'll click from here and then now for the height for this other width okay the width let's go with five okay let's click on five and then this other one let's click on 1200 Okay, so this is what we have now. Now we need to do some little adjustment. We do that by clicking on this one. We can actually suspend this group because you can't edit singular one now. How to edit this singular one is by clicking on this suspend group. Okay, once you click on suspend group, now you can edit single ones. Okay, single lines. Now, first thing we need to do, let's just create one beautiful thing at the at the middle or let's start from the top and then go downward let's create node so we we'll click on this one then we'll select this create node let's say let's keep this one here and let's pick this one from here to this side okay i think this one is too small let's take this one down before then sorry let's recreate this node this one should be down. Let's create another one to this side. And let's move this one all the way to this side. Can delete this one. This one looks small. Let's bring it down. This and then this one. Straight. Bring this one down. All right. And delete these other lines. Okay. Delete these other lines. So we have something like this. Hope it's not too small. It looks small actually. So let's bring it outside. Bring it outside. I think it's better. What we are doing here now is we're modeling the section, okay? The section just like cutting through that particular um iron. Alright. So the next thing is um let's create another note here. We'll making it will be creating two one here then one here okay then this middle let's curve this middle let's curve this middle then let's create another one here okay create node let's make this one smaller with arc and then the top Top can also have a smaller one, but before you do that, make sure you click on this first one and create another node and then pick this one, bring it outside a little. Okay, so let's try the same thing. We can actually highlight this one. Um, let's see, highlight this one, copy this, you copy by clicking on this move, tap control to have a copy of it so you can bring it. Let's see here. 
then same thing let's see if we can actually cut that thing down okay so now let's see if we can trim this in a one all right it's working okay so let's go up trim this one too and um, i think it would be nice if we have some little square by the side like this like this and then like this i'm pressing okay if you want to know how i managed to trim this one let me do something like this again i'll bring it outside click outside then i'll hold down my control button the scissors will appear so i'll click inside and click again i've removed that one so let's leave it like this okay um i think it's running something down let's shift this one down please let's shift this one down i'm pressing on shift to deactivate this other side okay, so i'll just move this one down it needs to be at the center center between this one and this one okay so now I'll delete this one then delete this line so i'll click this one drag it all the way make sure it's on this stretch before you can drag okay now we have it here too so we need this same thing at this other end i'll click and deactivate this line i'm pressing my shift button on keyboard all right so now i can copy this one by pressing on this drag and then i'll tap control to have this plus sign to have a duplicate to enable me have a duplicate of that so i'll click here now okay so now i'll trim this one trim this one trim this one so this is like a section view of it okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on this field tool on the field tool i'll press and hold my spacebar button and click inside here all right so if i want this to be black i can just decide to click on this material and look for a black um fill okay black fill forget that it's showing why it's going to be black so now i'll click on but well, before i do that i'm going to click on um let me leave it on wall yeah i'll leave it on wall okay i'll leave it on wall then i'll click save remember the name is rod iron okay rod iron okay i've clicked on save so now I'll close this one then click on 3d all right so now remember it's under wall save it as wall um component so i'll click on the wall now click on certain dialogues i'll change from this one it's still under this complex profile wall okay this is a complex profile wall. this one is not complex profile so this one is wall share wall or share wall so this one is complex profile so what is going to happen now is under custom i'll click and search for that rod iron so this is the rod iron i'll click ok then i'll click ok again i think let's draw it on ground floor okay ground floor so what will happen is i'll pick this one instead of a linear wall okay i'll pick this other wall right this circular wall or circumference i'll click on this one then i'll click here right it's circular actually i can just keep it at this level and then click and i'll still click there so i have that particular one now so let's check our 3d to see what we have okay from our 3d now you can see that wall here <laughs> you can see the wall here now um, you can see the iron here okay see the iron here i really want us to change this material let's see if we can give it black change everything let's see let's see let's see if we can give it black material yep we have black material now so what will happen now is i'll click on my ground floor and then pick this all the way from here um before then i'll highlight everything okay i'll press down i'll click the first one hold down my shift key click the second one right click and then um for for a faster way of grouping after highlighting i'll just press ctrl g okay it's under it's already grouped but why it's showing single is because it's still under suspend group so i'll remove the suspend group and you can see that it's all grouped now so i'll click on this one move it all the way to this point let's start from here to this point 
now let's check our south elevation if it's showing if it's not showing that means we need to change the level of this now from ground level is zero okay i'll change it to 500 um let's see 600 600 600 now so let's see our 3d if it's showing let's see if it's showing let's see if it's showing yeah it's showing actually so what will happen now is oh we only group we only suspend one of this um sorry change only one of these colors so what will happen now is i will still click on this material change it to the same black to have same um finish this is looking thick it's looking thick we need to change the, uh, the size of this again so click on your floor plan and i'll hold this one and i'll press um i'll click on before i move it i'll click on scale okay this resize i'll click ok so what will happen is i'll just hold here and then take it inside let's see how it's going to look like press this one resize okay all the way i'll draw outside click and then reduce it again okay still click i'm highlight click on resize click ok i'll click here once drag the line outside click outside reduce it a little so now let's see the 3d let's see how it's looking like it's not as big as before if it's still looking big we can still change it but i think it's okay like this it's okay like this so now let's move this one to this side to this side and then i'll click here i'll click on multiply then i'll click on distribute let's see if 10 will be enough um let's make it 10 and see i'll click ok so from here to this side it should give us 10 of that and i'll click ok so let's see our 3d now you can see what we have now okay you can see what we have now and um click on south elevation let's move it up a little i'll click here Control G to group everything. Then I'll move this one up a little to this level. Okay. To this level. Then I'll shift it a little bit to the front. So that I grouped everything. So Control G. All right, I'll move this on to this side. All right. So if it's too high and we don't like it this way, we can actually reduce the height again. At least let's bring it down to this level. To this level. To this level. Okay, to this level. Sorry, let me increase the brightness a bit too. to this level. So if you check our 3D now, you can see we have everything intact. Okay, we have everything intact, right? So the only thing we can do now is to select all. To select all. You can select everything. Control G. And then move it from here tap control paste here okay and shift it a little backward copy from here to to this side and paste so if you check your 3d now you see that we have the ions everywhere so these are the vertical ones so it's running the um horizontal ones okay on our next tutorial we'll work on the horizontal one so thank you for your time Alright, see you on our next tutorial.